gamla gäng. Välkomna Iron Maidens Bruce Dickinson. Right. Welcome to Sweden. You've been here plenty of times. Uh, yeah, loads of times. Last year, uh, mineral water. You're used to other stuff. No, I'm just wondering if it's that date rape drug, uh, it's Rohypnol or whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't do that I'm not stuff trying here. Those no, okay, it's fine. You left uh, Iron Maiden in 1993 <coughs> after um, more than a decade of successful albums and touring. Uh, yep. And now you're back. Yes. Why is that? What brought you? What made you come back? Um, well. Uh, we're going to put Iron Maiden back as the number one heavy metal band in the world. That's, that's a good, a good reason. That's a good reason to come back, isn't All it? Right. You know, I mean, it's, you know. That's it. to that again. You sold like 50 million albums, so I mean, uh, there's... I'll, I'll take your word for that. I wasn't counting, but okay. I mean, ah, you know, it's in the it's, it's, it's in the press release, does it? Oh, no, this is not... This oh, answer my question. All right. <laughs> we're going to take a look at some... In Swedish. They are, oh, yes. yeah. oh, no, they want to read this the, um, announcement again? This is what I said before you came in. Oh. Okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a look at a few pictures. stuff, this. It's, Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's mineral water. Have a, have a look at the uh, <clears throat> monitor right there. We have some pictures from the good old days when you were rocking away. This is what it looked like. <laughs> Here. That's correct. Yes, I'm actually I'm actually in training to get your job. So to get my job. it's slowly getting shorter and shorter. Okay, and shorter. but then you have yeah. to shave up these. Uh, yes. Yeah, well, that's it's going to be a few years yet. You know, okay. but I'm working. How on long it. have you had the short hair? Oh, about seven years. Okay, so since you left the band. Uh, yeah, although it sort of you know it goes up and down and things like that. It's actually the, the hair thing. I don't think is an issue anymore. Okay. You know, but, for for rock and roll bands. You know, ever right. since Rob Halford from Judas Priest shaved his off completely. Oh, that's true. I was expecting you to have even shorter hair. I had heard that you. Had. It needs a, it needs to get a cut actually. It's, it's okay. getting a bit uh, getting a bit long. We yeah. can't uh, attend to that now during the interview. But no, maybe, no, maybe absolutely afterwards. not. No, no. You got. Uh, Perhaps I can get the Swedish golfing ballerinas to do it. For did you me. see that? It's fantastic. Amazing. Golf and ballet. Yeah. And uh, a, uh, and internet. Yeah, so they could be a computer. new sport because if you do that, you, you know, I mean, golf, ballet, and internet. Yeah, why not? Because you already have skiing and shooting. I know, a strange combination. Yeah, you know, so it's and like judges putting skiing those... uphill. Ski... That's the one that gets me. Okay. I mean, it's logical to you guys, but with like skiing uphill, that's strange. What is that? Know? I've never heard of that. Yeah, you know, uh, well, like walk, the walking thing they do. You know. I haven't seen that. You know, uphill skiing. Wow. <laughs> In Sweden, we only have downhill. Oh, okay, fair okay, enough. It's Norway that they have uphill skiing. Yeah, that's true. That's it. <laughs> Is it true you once were a very good fencer, fektare in Sweden? Um, yeah, I used to sort of. I read you were almost in this British Olympic team. Um, almost. Well, um, yeah, I was sort of. I, I was. I was being bandied around selectors meetings every now and again, you know. Okay. Sort of like you know. But you you were good. Uh, you were yeah, an athlete. I, I, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> when was this? During the no, university? This when, no, this is when I was in Iron Maiden. During Iron Maiden? Oh, yeah. yeah you were yeah. fencing. Mm. Uh, I used to um, train. In fact, uh, I mean, this is a long time ago now, but uh, 80, 88, something like that, that was like my, uh, uh, my little peak year. Okay. You know. well, what's the biggest prize you've won, fencing? Oh, I was... Um, well, actually, probably it was the team thing. I was... Uh, um, uh, British, um, won the British team championships in 87, 88, and wow. we did, went to the European Cup and everything. And wow. Why did you start with fencing? Um, 
because I, because uh, I wanted to sort of fight people, and I was just your average <laughs> aggressive thirteen-year-old who just was a, a, you know, a bunch of raging hormones, and you want to get rid of it all. Okay. And uh, my school, I mean, I would actually. Uh, quite happily have done boxing. I really wanted to do boxing or yeah, fighting. Yeah, like aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, they didn't do it, didn't allow it at, uh, at the school. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have anything like karate or judo or anything. We had rugby. I mean, I mm -hmm. used to love, yeah, like rugby, awesome. you know. Okay. But is there, like, uh, aggressiveness in fencing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very aggressive. Because it looks more like a gentleman sport. Yeah, right? well, yeah, well, yeah. It, at competitions, it's very, very aggressive, very physical. Mm -hmm. um, but the nice thing about it is, is that... Uh, through fencing, I learned that it was a terrific fencing was a terrific way of getting all those aggressions out yeah. without being, um, you know, violent or anything else like that. And also learning to at the same time be sort of calm, you know. The yeah, old, because it's of, discipline as well, isn't it? Yeah, you, you have to you have to be cunning and calm as well as being very aggressive and seizing the moment, you know. Okay. It's very like a grasshopper, you know. Sort of, you know, <laughs> well, you know, when it's you can hold, uh, you know, whatever in your, then you will. What, what, what was that? A grasshopper? Yeah, well, you know, what was it? Oh God, what is it? Um, uh, what's that? I recognize Daft that. American. Kung Fu. Okay. All Kwai right. Chan, oh, yeah, yeah. Kwai Chan Ken, you know, the cod philosophy, you know, yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of like, when you can drink a glass of water without seeing bubble, then <laughs> you will know truth, you know, <laughs> you know, and things like that. So, um, <clears throat> okay. So, th yes, that's what I, I learned that's from fencing. That's interesting, because that, it's an interesting choice of uh, sports, I'd say, for a heavy metal yeah, singer. Um, yeah, well, I wasn't a heavy metal singer then, you see. I didn't know I was supposed to okay. not choose things because right. I was a heavy metal singer. Okay. Only after I became a heavy metal singer did people tell me, okay. oh, you're not you supposed to do, do that. that. You're a heavy metal singer. You should you drink know? beer and yes. punch people. That's right. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. So I'm glad I didn't do boxing, uh, mm -hmm. actually, because uh, what few brain cells I have are still intact. largely intact, you okay. know. Let's uh, tell us about the new album now. Uh, well, when is it coming out yep, and the, what's it <clears> called? Um, it's called Brave New World. All right. And it's coming out at the end of May. All right. And there's a single coming out the on May the first called The Wicker Man. Okay. And, and uh, this is the first album I remain an album you're on since uh, oh, since God knows, yeah, ninety three. Mm -hmm. And uh, my opinion, uh, for what it's worth, um, it's the best sounding Iron Maiden record there has ever been. Okay. Um, is there a monster on the cover? Uh, you know, we're still working on the cover. Okay. We're still working on it. Uh, so there may be a monster, there may not be a monster. Oh. Which so uh, this, you know. Well it had Tony to be Blair one or the other, didn't it really? I mean, his you know. Head off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um yeah, so um that's what we're working on. This is the first album that we've actually recorded live in a studio. Um, which is may seem strange because Iron Maiden has a reputation of being, you know, a really hell of a good live band. Yeah. But for some reason in the past we've never recorded live as we do on stage uh this one we did we got a new producer a guy called kevin shirley who's worked with aerosmith and a bunch mm -hmm. of people and you've got the best sounding iron maiden record could I you sing a, a few lines for me <clears throat> no i'm a professional you have to pay me lots of money okay i see <laughs> and then you're coming to her in the in the summer playing for us uh, yes that's uh, the swedish Egypt. naval museum right i'm just testing i'm just making sure that you're saying something and different. it's out in the open a great field yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and that's very exciting because right. sweden um is uh, a terrific place for heavy metal, for yeah, rock music. Yeah, we have music. a lot of fans here. Yeah, that's We're right. We're looking forward to your visit. Thanks for coming to talk Thank to us. Thank you very us. much. Bruce Dickinson. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.